Greetings and salutations to another tea time with yours truly, Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. Okay. And today I want to talk about boundaries. Not boundaries between you and me. Well, I guess mostly you and me because technically we do have a great big boundary. I probably live a uh, good far away away from most of you folks. As in, or maybe not, depending on the situation. But, like I said, that's besides the point, not just dis, you know, boundaries, as you know, or already know, are not just distance and length and, you know, it, it's more of, you could argue degree of distance, Emotional, uh, mental, oh. uh, mental, oh. uh, societal d distances, <laughs> and, <coughs> and basically these back. Boundaries are at times meant to keep safe, and other times have caused us big problems. One could be, I would say, the biggest boundary that we have, and as of right now, that it's kind of apparent in the news, would be for gay marriage. Why didn't we allow gay? Marriage? Some argue Bush or Cheney or whoever. Reagan. Reagan. Okay, what's part of that issue? Uh, another boundary that's you know, not a societal boundary could be that between ourselves and our families, which can be emotional, like I said, from gay distance. And sometimes those boundaries are put there for a lot of reasons. I could argue that I put up boundaries between those that I love because I have a horrible temper and sometimes just talking about my emotions can be relatively hard because, you know, you don't you don't really want to worry them, it's just you end up worrying them anyways because you know you may care a lot about them and you may not know how to discuss it or you know, give it over to other people. Yeah, you put that boundary up to protect them. Take them feel better to, you know maybe Maybe to give yourself some space because, well, what's put this way? Hey, your mother is crazy. You know, yes, you want to tell them all about your first, you know, juvenile romance between you and the newspaper boy who is down the street. Not that there is a newspaper boy anymore, but hey, gotta live for something. But. You put a distance between yourself and that person, those people, for a lot of, for those reasons. Like I said, that, because you care about them. Yeah, sure, that at the time, those people don't understand. And because, well, how could they? How would they understand? But at the same time, those people have come off feeling cheated, hurt, angry, sad, heartbroken, and angry. Mostly because you keep distancing yourself from them. You tell them that, oh, you know, it's not a problem, I'm fine. But what happens when you need to start learning to lift those distances and boundaries 
come down? When, you know, when, when is that? When do you realize enough is enough? I can't hide any more stuff from my mother. I can't hide any more stuff from the guy next door. When, when, when do I finally reach the point where these said boundaries are enough? When, and then we'll go into mental boundaries. You know, those things that you yourself don't allow you to go near. I would probably say my biggest mental boundary is, and I don't like getting super personal here, but I guess it's just pure paranoia. I am a paranoid person. I have, I do still love my family. I do care about my friends. I do care about people in my life. However, I am paranoid of the government. I am paranoid of authority because I have learned authority tends to bite you in the ass when, you know, just, just at the right moments. But, anyways, I'd like to end this video well, on a, on this particular question, which is, what are your boundaries? When, when can you just have had, what, what, what keeps you safe from yourself? What keeps your friends safe from you? And what keeps, I guess overall, society safe? Even if technically it's not hurting anybody, it's just an issue that needed to come to fruition. I guess you don't have to answer the last one, but about the societal boundary, I just brought that up as an example of a boundary that needed to come down. Anyways, thank you for listening and watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like, share, share and as TJ would say, have sex with this video, you know, if you want to. But that doesn't become a common phrase in this society. And if not, well, I guess I now know who to blame. Anyways, thank you, and please, if you have any questions to ask me, please, please go to my Tumblr and my Twitter which will have a link down in the description below. And thank you for watching. Again. Goodbye.